Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed, a blessed, come on somebody, a blessed day. All righty, so I got my specs. And I know they different. They are different. I get it. You know, my daughter was saying, Mom, I like to be different. If I'm going to wear glasses, then I'm going to wear glasses. <laughs> All right, so I have some serious things that I want to talk about today. God woke me up early, early, early this morning, and um, I just wanted to be obedient to what his will and his way is is and, and what he's saying in this hour so let me go ahead and tell you what god is saying in this hour like never before we're the joshua generation i've been saying that since last year notice before the war and all this stuff started it was the reason god had me saying that we're the joshua generation we battle differently oh come on let me tell you we battle differently how do we battle all right, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hold on just one moment, you guys. I'm working in a different spot this morning. Hold on. I want to get into it. Okay, so so the first chapter, we're going to start in the first chapter where it says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' servant, verse 2, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise. That's the first thing. Arise. It is time for the body of Christ to arise like never before. Not in the way the world is doing it. Not in the way the church have done it previously. But in a way that God have called us to, especially in this hour. Hold on a minute. He says, go over to this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give them, even to the children of Israel. Verse 3, he says, every place that the sole of your feet should trail upon, that I have given you as I unto Moses. Verse 4. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, even into the great river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and into the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your course. Verse 5. There should not any man be able to stand before thee. Oh, let me say that one again. Therefore should not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Have we forgotten? God said, have we forgotten? And that's why I didn't speak on the Russia thing. Y'all don't, one thing you should all notice about me, and I used to do that. That's why I've learned and matured. I don't get up and speak so fast because let me tell you something, man, and you know I'm going to tell the truth up in here. You know what I'm going to do it. Let me tell you what's happening. First of all, people are taking advantage, you know, um, especially if you're on YouTube. Everything is about dollars, and it, it doesn't make any sense. We're supposed to move the way God has called us to move as children of God. We don't say anything until God says to do it. We don't move until God says to move. We don't do what other people do. We can't. We can't, we can't afford to, because truth be told, how did, jo how did Joshua win that battle? God said, go around the wall seven times. That's unorthodox. We're unorthodox. We're peculiar people. We're not going to do it the way the world does it. The world fights w with violence and, and lawlessness and this and that. The God, hold, oh, thank you, Lord. I'm going too fast. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you something. When God is in it, God will never answer it the way man answered. Somebody write that in the comments. God will never answer it the way man answered it. That's why I don't get up on here and I don't say, well, you know, this is what Russia and this. No, our position is to stay in position, especially during turmoil, because guess what? It was written. Somebody write that in the comments. It is written. Everything that's happening, wars, rumors of wars, this was written. So now the church as a whole, what we do is we go back to God and we say, God, what thus said the Lord? And let me tell you what God is saying. Pray. Before the battle is not yours, it's mine. Come on, somebody. God said the battle is not mine. It is your, it is it's not yours. It is mine, said the Lord. Our position is to pray. Our position is to be able to pray. Oh, I got to break this thing down. Some of you are not going to like me, but that's okay. The body of Christ have gotten so busy chasing after blessings, chasing after people. I got to say this because this is it. I don't care what God blesses me with. I don't care how he does it. I will never forget. Get up in the morning, Deanna. Give me reverence. I woke you up. I give you power to get this. I'll give you power to get that. I don't care what nobody say. I can't do it the way other people want to do it. I got 
I do it the way God said to do it. I don't care what nobody say. Hey, accept me, accept me, you don't, you don't. You can't, you can't, you won't, you won't. Hallelujah. Because you didn't wake me up. You didn't make this. Hallelujah. God did. I can't stop what I do. I can't stop who I am. And definitely, I have to give him the praise. Hallelujah. And the glory. That's what's wrong with the church. We didn't got too cute. I, let me say it publicly. God, don't ever let me get so cute that, that I don't know how to praise you. Don't ever let me get so cute that I don't know how to get in your presence in the morning when nobody else is watching. You see, you can't do this unless you do that. I can't come up on here in power if I don't go behind closed doors and say, God, give me power. Let them see you, God. Let them see the power of God. Not Deanna, I can't help you. But if God pour that anointing in me, it's going to come out of me. And it's going to overtake whoever watching. Hallelujah. Because it's not Deanna. I'm just a servant. I'm just a tool. We forgot that. I'm going to say it again. The church have forgotten that. We, we've gotten too proud and arrogant. I'm, 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 I'm unorthodox today. Y'all know I don't care. Like me, like me, don't, don't. Accept me, don't. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. You're going to do what you're going to do anyway. Period. We stop giving God the glory. Now we see a different story. We stop giving God the glory. Now we see a different story. We start acting like the world. Oh, I got to walk this thing like he want me to walk it. And talk it like he want me to talk it. We start wanting to be stars. I'm a star. I'm a celebrity. I'm a this. I'm a that. Forgot to give God the glory which really belongs the glory all to him. He says, I will make your name great. Not this one, not that one, not this, not that. They didn't have media in Jesus' days, and Jesus' name went and rang throughout this world. Joshua, Moses, Joseph. They didn't have media, you guys. It was God. Hallelujah. I don't care what nobody says. It was God. People try to train people how to be this and how to be that and how to... And that's the problem. Let me be who I am in God. And if you cannot accept that, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think you feel, you all understand what I meant this morning. Never forget to give God the glory. Never forget to spend time with God. He was the one that blessed you. He was the one that healed you. He was the one that delivered you. And I don't know what your story is this morning, but I know you got one because we all do. In this season, in this time, especially if you are a real child of God, you are going through something. Your something may not be my something, but it's something, honey. And the only person that can deliver you, the only person that can heal you, the only person that can touch you in those places that no one else can touch is God. Let me go back. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I got the Holy Spirit there. You can't stop that. And, and so he goes on. I mean, Joshua, the book of Joshua which we're going to be in for the next two years. Joshua was a man of war. Joshua was a soldier. He was the only one that recorded. Now, I'm sure there was others, but, there, but this is a recording that never sinned against God. That's why I love Joshua. As a matter of fact, God told Joshua some instructions that he's also telling us in this hour. Okay, so I'm in Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6 says, Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people should thy divine inheritance of the land, which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. Verse 7. Only be thou strong. He says, that God, when God repeats his stuff, you better believe that's real. He said, verse 7. Only be thou strong and ever, good, very courageous. He said, let me repeat that again. Verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. You want to know what's happening in this hour while people are not prospering? Well, God's people, we are not doing this. Let me read it one more time for the ones in the back. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Right there. Stop, stop tripping out. Things going to happen. They did it to Jesus. Hold on. Observe to do according to all the law. That's the Bible. That's the law of God. Hold on. What Moses thy servant commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Balance. Keep your eyes on me. I know you're going to fall sometime. I know you're going to be sharp sometime. I know you're going to make some mistakes. You're human. And as long as you're human, you're going to err. But, he says, 
still do this. Come back to it. And then thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This is the word of God. Verse 8, which is my favorite scripture in the whole Bible. Joshua verse 8. I've been meditating all my life. And I'm going to meditate on it for the rest of my life. Hallelujah. He says, this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. But thou should meditate therein day and night. Y'all heard that? Yeah. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou should make thy way prosperous, and then thou should have good success. Well, let me go ahead and, and, and dissect that one. He says, the book of the law, that's the Bible, should not depart out of thy mouth. But thou should meditate. Meditate. That doesn't mean get in the scripture. I'm going to read for 15 minutes. Meditation. Meditation sometimes takes an hour or two. Because meditation is getting into the presence of God. To feel the power of God. To get the anointing of God. What is it to be a leader, a teacher, a preacher, a pastor, and you have no anointing? Just getting up on here to, just to whatever. Mm -hmm, yeah, you get it. Meditate day and night. Not just nighttime. Not just daytime. And then thou should make, make. That means I'm going to have some opposition. The devil coming and gunning. Okay, all right, that's fine. But you should make your way prosperous. That means you're going to get through whatever you got to go through. You're going to get through whatever you got to go through, whoever you got to go through. <laughs> I'm reminded, uh, let, let me get finish this. And then you should have good success. And then it comes back in verse 9. Have I not commanded thee to be strong and of good courage and be not afraid? How is it, the, how is it just not the body of Christ people get so afraid so quick? Fear not is 365 times in the Bible. So you know what that means? One for each day. And I'm not saying you're not going to be afraid. This is this is my method. And I'm, I'm going to be very transparent like I always am. Sometimes I do get afraid. Then all of a sudden I get mad because I got afraid. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know who I am. I'm, child. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I, I trip myself out when I do that. I, I'll get scared for a minute. I'll be honest. Then all of a sudden I get mad that I got scared. Wait a minute, Deanna. Do you know who you are and whose you are? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neither be thy not dismayed, for the law of thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. God got me. Whether they accept me, whether they don't, whether I will, whether they won't, whether they do, whether they don't, whether it happened, whether it don't. He got us. You got to trust in God. And that's what God wanted me to get up on here and say this morning. People of God, I don't care what they do. I don't care how they do it. And I'm not saying I don't care technically, but spiritually, if we're in God, then I trust you, God, because you're still in control of all this. I don't care what they do. I don't care what it do. I don't care what Russia do. I don't care what this one do. I don't. God is still in control. I'm reminded of how you tell Pharaoh. I made you for this day, Pharaoh. I made you to destroy you. Don't you understand how God worked by now? God will allow the enemy to do just what it is, he is supposed to do. Remember Judas. Do you think that it was strange? You think that God didn't know he chose Judas? Mm, I'm about to walk this thing like I talk it. He knew. He said, have I not chosen you and one of you is a devil? Oh, let me walk this thing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I, I learned that just recently, truth, truth be told. I knew it, but when you process it, it's different. So I always knew it, but when you process it. Let me, let me, let me, go, let me go to the scripture because I'm going to break it down for you this morning. I feel the power of God. I sure do. Hallelujah. Okay, Psalm 23. I'm reminded of Psalm 23. Let me break this thing down for you. It's going to bless you this morning. The Lord is my shepherd, period. I should not want, period. You say, I'm going to bless you, what you need. Maybe what you want a little bit. And that's why people get mad. They don't get what they want. Have you ever thought what you want may destroy you? Oh, that's deep right there. Verse 2. He's making me to lie down in green pastures. We all going to die. Die empty, like my, like my mentor, Miles Monroe, say. Die, die empty. Die empty now. All right. He leading me beside the still waters. Verse 3. He restoreth my soul. I don't care what you go through, who you go through. God will restore you. Right in the front of the faces that those that tried to break you. Mm -hmm. I say it. I say it. He leading me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. We are not right. Sometimes we're just a mess, and he'll still take that mess and turn you into a whole message. Yes, you heard me. All right, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We don't see what's happening. 
I don't care where you go, what city, what state. There's a, there's a spirit of lawlessness over this whole entire earth. You better be praying every day. When, you, when I get in my car, Father God, in the name of Jesus, angels to the east, the west, the north, and the south, protect me, Father God. I say that this car would not be involved in any accidents and incidents or premature death and vice versa for the next car. I have to pray that prayer. Y'all know how many people tried to run me off a road? Just random people. I, I don't bother nobody. So I said, Dev, I see you. That's when I start praying that prayer. I said, okay, you're trying to get me. <laughs> it's not paranoid. It's real. A lot of people say, especially, and that's what the church start. Oh, don't take all that. It takes more than that. It takes a life of consecration, preparation, dedication, devotion. Oh, don't start me. All right, let me continue. He says, I will fear no evil. I'm not saying you're not going to get scared sometimes, but you better quickly remember who you are and whose you are. He said, I've never given you the spirit of fear, but of power. That's the first one, power. That's power from on high. Love and a sound mind. Satan tries to mess with your mind. The battle is truly in the mind. That's why they call it a battlefield. And that's why he says, renew this mind, renew this mind, renew this mind. Pull down strongholds. That's why you have to get daily before God. When you don't get daily before God, whatever you spend time with, that's your God the most. That's your God, period, in the story. You work a lot, that's your God. Say what you want. Well, I need whatever. God will provide. Hmm, they ain't ready for me this morning, but it would Whatever, excuse me. He says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. God is always with you. God is always with me. Lo, always, even to death. Hold on, let me continue. He says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You reap what you sow. I tell people all the time, people be trying to be slick and do stuff, and even in front of your face. I laugh at them. I used to get mad, but I laugh at them. You don't know you're going to reap what you sow? I may not see it. You're going to reap what you sow. That's me, you, and that famous dog named Boo. Thought you knew. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Verse 5. This is it. This is it, everyone. If you catch this, you're going to be all right for the rest of your life. I, I speak it. You better catch that. And you better decree it and clarify. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I couldn't understand why every year God would bring this to me. God, bring this to me. Like, I try to read Psalm 23 every day. Cause, and, and I was like, God, what are you saying? What are you saying? He said, you don't understand by now? I keep trying to, and I'm sure you try to do it too, I keep trying to get rid of enemies. I ain't, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I do. Get away from me. I don't like you. Get away from me. You don't like me. I don't like you. Whatever. And the more I try to get rid of them, the more God sent other people. And I'm like, God, you think I, I see the one? He said, I know, Dan. I know. He said, but just like David. Oh, this is going to be good. David got anointed king while with Saul. And Saul was trying to kill him. Catch that in the spirit. Let me read that again. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Stop trying to get rid of your enemies. As a matter of fact, pull on my chair. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Because truth be told, and I'm reminded always of Jesus and Judas. He kissed him. And Jesus said, you betray me with a kiss? If we didn't learn anything from that particular act, then you are not a true child of God and you don't understand because our foundation is love and that's how they get us. So they try to come with love. And that's how I used to get hurt too because you think everybody's going to move like you move. <laughs> that's not real. So when they show me who they are, I do like Grandma say. I give me a long hand to spoon. And I say, you hungry? Oh, hallelujah. Y'all, you, you hungry? <laughs> That's what Grandpa used to say, right? You hungry? <laughs> you hungry, babe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you, you getting me real clear this morning because some of y'all need this. All right, so let me continue. Thou anointest my head with oil. God is steady anointing me. Steady anointing me. As long as I'm obedient. As long as I continue to just serve him and love him. Get in my word day and night. Pray day and night. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me continue. My cup runneth over. That's those blessings. I'm going here. I don't know why God got, got me going here, but somebody pulling on me this morning. And all of us have been guilty of this. And when I stopped, it started happening. We would chase blessings. Some of you still doing it. Oh, I'm going, I used to do it too, so you can't tell me anything. It is when I stopped chasing, trying to make stuff happen, trying to connect with people that didn't want to connect with me, didn't like me. Because my candidness, 
I realized two things. Because of the anointing on my life and I'm so bold, people are, I'm going to make people feel uncomfortable with the way I talk, the way I say things, the way I do things. I know it's unorthodox. So I'm reminded of Paul. Am I supposed to so if I'm supposed to obey God or men? Y'all, I think you all know I'm gonna obey God, even if it costs me. And it has. There are some people, I'm not, I don't want her on my platform. I don't want this. I don't want and it hurt me. It hurt me. It hurt me to the core of my spirit because I'm human. But then again, I was like, Phew. Cause I'm, I'm I'm rocking God. I'm rocking with God to the day I die. You can't do anything for me. Yeah, you can give me a little platform or this and that. And a false relationship, I just said something. Because if it's not real, it's not real. Boy, them, I, them glasses make my eyes look bigger. <laughs> anywho, <laughs> I dropped the phone on that. I had to drop it on my own. So, but anywho, stick with God. I don't care what or who. So let me finish this. Verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you didn't get that this morning, then you're not listening. What God has for you is for you, and no one can stop it because they didn't start it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Quit trying to conform to the norm when God chose you to stand out. When God chose you to be who you are, when God ordained you, when God anointed you, when God appointed you. Too busy trying to fit in. They don't like us anyway. They don't. I tried it for you all. They don't like us. We make them uncomfortable because we see through. And now I got four eyes. I can really see. I'm talking about seer. Honey. Feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. So we're the Joshua generation. We're not supposed to fear. Our position is to stay in position. Though war is around us, though war threaten us, though this, though that. God said, I'm with you. So in this hour, the most important thing is to be obedient. In this hour, the most important thing is to have wisdom and discernment. In this hour is to flow with God. I, I, I used to want to flow with this one and that one, but if they're not flowing with God, then why are you flowing with them? Because you're trying to get a position? You're trying to get recognized? You're trying to get this and that? In this hour, the enemy is trying to taint your spirit because he knows if you're tainted, then you have no power in God. And that's the whole problem. Most people, they talk, they walk it, they look it, but denying the true power of God. And you can feel that. Even sinners can. You can't fake that. You see, a, a license, you can get that online. You can buy this and that doctorate and this. You get the drift. You can't buy anointing. You can't fake anointing. That's something you have to earn from God. Hallelujah! People try to tell you what to do, what not to do. I'll try, but if the Holy Ghost overtake me, <laughs> I'm on one this morning, I'm on one. I mean, yeah, we all want to be this and that, but I want God more than anybody and anything, any recognition, any this, that. Because when I die, and I will just like you are, I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I don't want to hear, well, you didn't do what I said. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. So I just want you to be, I, I want you to be um, encouraged. But you have to do your part, God says. You got to spend time with God, people of God. You got to get in that word. No, it's not always easy, especially when you're a busy person and you have to and you have job. Like I don't work for people, but working for your heart is hard. For, excuse me, working for yourself is harder. I have to get these orders out, and sometimes I, I have to go back and do this, and and people be. I don't think they read the fine print. Your order's supposed to be in two weeks. Where well, my order? Where well, my order? And I get it. I get it. You want your oral, you want your prayer shawl, you want your soap. I get it because if I pay for something, I want it too. But can y'all just? It's just me. I don't have a team. Not yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm trying. 
<laughs> that's just my little thing at the end, you guys. That's not God. That's me. So, whew, Lord have mercy. I love y'all. I do. And God loves us. This is our time. This is our time. And when I say this is our time, I mean it just like that. I told you all this was open heaven. Did you know not believe me? I know some of y'all thought I was running game. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it because people are running game. A lot of them. Truth be told. And God going to get them. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. God going to get them. Think it's a game? I don't play with God. Mm -mm. And one thing, if you are true to all of God, you are commanded not to play with his people. Have you read that Bible? What do he do to people that play with his people? Let me leave you with this. He says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That is one of the deepest scriptures in the Bible. And God mean it in every aspect of that scripture. And he'll show you better than he can tell you. So I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you, you are just compelled to, God, what must I do to be saved? God, teach me. God, help me. I'm, I'm not there. I, I lost it. I stopped doing this. I stopped doing We all fall short of the glory of God. There are times we get so busy chasing, and I'm going here, chasing people, chasing things, chasing this, you know. Until we, and it happens suddenly and gradually until you don't even know it's being done. You see, a distraction, and I, I got it on Facebook today. The most powerful tools of Satan is deception and distraction. Deception, making letting people think that they love you when they really don't. And you can see it. You can feel it. And I want y'all to stop doing that. Stop accepting disrespect. Stop accepting fake love. When they show you who they are, act accordingly. Pull out your, I'm, I'm going to get a long hand spoon one day and come up on here. Act accordingly. Because one thing, and I got to leave y'all with this, because God said this. I was upset. Because, and I, I was, that's, look, that's DMX fault on this one. I was listening to Lord Give Me a Sign. And the, my, fa what, my favorite verse in there is, I'm tired of talking. Wait. I'm tired of talking to him knowing that he fronting. God showed me something. I hate, I hate a fronter. I, not the person. I just hate that. I can't stand fake people. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I never could. They make me itch. And they talking to you like you don't know they fake. Come on. Come on. They talking to you like your spirit don't feel their spirit. They talking to you like you don't know they don't like you. And I just be looking at them. Now with four eyes, like. All in my tongue, all in my spirit, I'm praying in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking in tongues. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I could translate. What am I saying? Oh, you snake, you vipers. God going to deal with you in Jesus' name. Don't wish nothing ugly because that's witchcraft. Don't, don't, don't curse nobody. That's witchcraft. I'm just saying the word of God. Touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm. So every time you try to hurt me, oh, <laughs> I'm praying for you because that's what the words say. Pray for your enemies because you heap coals of fire over their head and God must repay them. I don't even know why I went there. It must be for somebody. You feeling it? Don't get upset. Don't get out of character. Don't, don't do that. Don't, and I used to do it. I understand. No, no. Your position is to pray for them. Exactly. Yeah, you start to get it. We all starting to get it. Because God going to make sure we get it in this last hour. Too many people are perishing. Too many, you guys. Too many. So, with all that being said, God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. I'm going to say that again. Roll our soldiers. You are a soldier of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Of the end time army. Act like it. Walk like it. Talk like it. Be like it. That's who we are. Powerful. In God. And in the end, we win. You heard me. In the end, we win. <laughs> God bless.